Hey y'all. So today I'm gonna be making me a wig because I'm tired of wearing this bun in my head. So I'm gonna make me a wig. So stay tuned. So right now I'm gonna be left using the Kiss Bleach with 40 Developer. And I'm just gonna be mixing it together to get a thick consistency because I do not want it soupy or like very really liquidy so it will not seep into the closure. So I'm adding some more just to get it with that perfect consistency while I mix I everything together. And then I'm gonna be spreading it on the closure um, very lightly. I'm gonna be just lightly brushing it to give it um, that natural look but i do not want it to seep in the closure so i'm trying to be as careful as i can um i don't even i'm not even gonna go all the way over on the closure the whole closure because of the fact that um it's just a middle part closure it's not like i can um part it into sections and close it um and do different um sections with it so um yeah i'm just carefully carefully trying to bleach it So right now I'm gonna put the closure face down so none of the bleach seeps into the hair. I'm gonna put the closure face down and I'm just gonna close it up and I'll left it on there for maybe about, I wanna say 15 minutes, 20 minutes, not long at all. And so here is the closure now. Um, it's nice and look natural looking. I didn't get any bleach on my hair so that's a great thing. Make sure it is flat when before you start sewing. And it it's flat. Okay. So I've already sewed down my closure. And when you sew your closure down, you want to make it as flat as possible. You do not want it to buckle up. So, you know, you want to just try to make it as flat as you possibly can. And I've put a plastic bag over my mannequin head because I'm doing the hot gun glue method and you do not want your glue to stick to your mannequin head. So you just put a plastic bag over it and then you put your wig cap on top. I have two 16 inches, two 14 inches, and two 12 inches. So for this particular wig, I'm not gonna do the flip over method. I'm just gonna measure and cut just because it's just going to be easier for me to do it that way. And if you get some glue on the hair, it's really easy to just peel off. So you don't have to worry about the glue getting on the hair so much. When I get down to like the last piece of my track, I just like to put it in the middle. So my middle will be really full.
keep in mind this glue gun gets really hot so just please be careful because people do burn themselves with the glue gun and you see these little strings of glue that you'll get but they come right off so don't worry about that and as you're going up please continue to just do it ear by ear so everything is straight and perfect looking Now that I'm pretty much at the top of the wig, I'm gonna go in rows instead of ear to ear. And I'm just gonna keep going across until I get to the very top. And like I said, if you get these little glue balls, they peel right off. So don't worry about that. Now that you're at the very top, you want to try to get your tracks as close as possible to the closure as you can. I'm at the very top of the closure. So I'm going to try to get my last few tracks as close to the closure as possible. This is the closure, and this is the track, and you see I got it matching up perfectly. And like I said, these little strings of glue, they come right off. You're going to peel them right off, so don't worry about that. One last thing, you have to cut the middle piece where your closure is. Be sure not to cut the where you put the thread at because you're going to have to start all over cut around the thread but please do not cut that thread this is how it looks when i cut the extra wig cap off of the clothes i'm in my bathroom so you guys can see how good she looks she's so pretty this is the way she is done and ready for me to put on in style if you guys like that video, please comment and subscribe. I'll see you later.